My name is Chase Hastings. I am 21 and I have cerebral palsy. I'm Chase my first. He, he was two weeks overdue. We went in to the um, hospital and not a whole lot really was going on. We did an epidural, kind of slept on and off through the night. So they said, okay, let's start pushing. They did forceps, they used vacuum suction, they were doing everything. And at some point during that time, the heart monitor came out and finally they had to do like what was called a fourth degree episiotomy to get Chase to come out. When he came out, he wasn't breathing, there was no cry, there was no, there wasn't anything. Like when he was born, he had no spontaneous heartbeat. His, um, he was not breathing, they were doing CPR and giving him oxygen for that. Um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty severe, pretty, you know, intense. I remember just kind of going, there's no sound. Chase's dad was, I think, trying to block me from being able to see because I was asking questions and what's going on. So when the doctor came back in, she was extremely upset. She was crying. She felt, you know, she was apologetic. I thought I did everything. I didn't realize he was going to be so big. I was just still like, my baby's not here. This isn't how it's supposed to be. Growing up, I was mad because I was the only one who had CP, but I didn't want my CP to take over my life. As a parent with the schools, um, Chase had significant physical disability and he couldn't talk. Um, and he used a walker. So the schools initially seeing him thought that he needed to be like in a physically impaired class or an ESC class. As I was going through school, there were teachers that thought I could not take this class because I wasn't smart enough and I like showing them wrong. I met with the principal and the administrators and felt that kindergarten, the first, the best place for him would be in a regular kindergarten classroom. My mom had been a role model for my life because I saw her in my grade school years. Once people met Chase and they started doing different testing things or different things they saw that cognitively he had the ability to do it, we just had to work through his physical limitations. So there was a lot of um, concern by teachers and fear, you know. Um, I would say 99% of the teachers, once they got to know Chase, you know, were great and they totally felt comfortable with it. I have a lot of goals that I want to do in my life and one of my biggest goals was that I had was I wanted to go to college and then off to a university and it is what I am doing because I am going to the University of Florida in the fall. I would like to graduate from UF with my bachelor degree in sports management then maybe my master's in the same field. I had a lot of times that I was thinking to give up but I thought what would God do if he was in my spot? He would keep on pushing. He's one of the toughest kids that that you'll ever meet. I mean, he is tough as nails. It doesn't it doesn't matter how hard it is. He's going he's going to do well. He's, I don't look at him as a person who's confined by his disabilities. I just look at him as somebody who's uh, got to work a little bit harder. Just watching him, just watching him fight for every everything he's ever had to do, and. It's just made my life so much more meaningful. And I don't always have the same, you know, level of faith that he does. And it's just amazing to see when you could get down and you could get discouraged. He just always, you know, keeps going. He is just an amazing person. You know, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but people are drawn to him. Happy, I mean, it's just happiness. You know, people enjoy being around him. I'm just glad that God left us with a wonderful child and someone that can change this world because that's what he wants to do. Having cerebral palsy is important because it shows me to be understanding and to never judge a book by its cover. I now understand that all the events in my life that have shaped me are so important and I am and I would not change anything because I love my life, family and my future. I believe God's purpose in my life is that he is an example of how I should live. He faced a lot of challenges in his life but overcome everything and did great things. I believe that I have been doing the same thing, trying to make the world better because I've touched a lot of people in my first 21 years of life.